Hi there, I'm back and ready to resume my series on how to play great songs. Today I have a lesson for the guitar on the Pink Floyd song, Free For. Free For is in the key of G. It starts with a G chord. And for the main riff of this song, you strum G for six beats. Then you change to a B flat, which is barring the first fret and you have your root note here on the fifth string, first fret, fifth string, that's the B flat chord. And then you move it up two frets to the C chord. And then back to the G. So the main riff of the song um, is eight beats long with the first six on G and then beat seven on B flat, beat eight on the C, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was the main riff uh, played twice through right there. And for the intro of the song, you're going to be doing that four times. And after you do it four times, you go back to the G, and this is where the verse starts. So the verse uh, starts with uh, four beats on the G, and then four beats on the C, four beats on the D, and back to the G for the main riff again. And um, so the key thing to remember about playing the verses is how many times do you fit that main riff in there in between the lines. And the way it goes is each verse has two lines in it. After you play the first line, you go back to the main riff and do that one time. Then after the second line of the verse, that's the end of the verse, and you'll be playing the main riff twice. So once in between the lines of the verse, and twice after the second line to end each verse. So keeping that in mind, I'll play through the first three verses of this before we get to the next change. The memories of a man in his old age are the deeds of a man in his prime. One time, you shuffle in the room in the sick room and talk to yourself as you die. Twice. And now you're ready for the second verse. Life is a short, warm moment. Death is a long, cold rest. One time. Get your chance to try in the twinkling of an eye. Eighty years with luck or even less. Twice. All aboard for the American tour. And maybe you'll make it to the top one time. And mind how you go, I can tell you cause I know. You may find it hard to get on. So that's the first three verses right there. And when you get to this point in the song, you change to the guitar solo section. And with the guitar solo comes a key change. And coming off of the main riff at the end of verse three, you got this little change. But instead of landing on the G again, this time you're going to change keys and land on the B 
which is right in between the B flat and the C. So for the key change on the guitar solo section, you go. And that's how you wind up on the B there. You do that one time when you're changing into the guitar solo section. So the guitar solo section has a riff that's a lot like the main riff in terms of the rhythm. You're just using different chords in it. You start with this B. And then you do one strum on the G, one strum on the G on the A, and then back to the B major again. And when I go to the B major the second time, I'm I'm barring the seventh fret. It kind of just helps me remember it easier when I'm just doing the you, know, you just go three, five, seven for when you go back to when you get back to the B the second time. So I find it easier coming out of the main riff to, to first start with this B right here, but then each subsequent time I'll land on the B that's up here. And you do that riff, the riff that's in the key of B for the guitar solo, you do that four times through. So starting right here, let me do that right. twice, three times, fourth time, and that's how you change back down to the key of G for the main riff of the song, and you do that twice to set you up for the uh, final three verses. So, and the way you just do that is you, you go G, A, and then back down to G, which I go to this open G right here, because now you're back into the main riff again. So I'll do the um, guitar solo section, uh, starting with the, the final part of the verse three, where he's saying, and everyone's still on the run. You do this twice. Now change. Back into the main riff. And you're doing this twice. Lost the lyrics here, sorry about that. Okay. He was buried like a mole in the foxhole, and everyone's still on the run. Twice. And who is the master of foxhounds? And who says the hunt has begun? One time. for this song. So I hope you have fun with it. Okay, so there it is. Easy peasy, right? I hope you enjoyed my tutorial of this Pink Floyd song. A bright and cheerful sounding song, but one that has dark lyrics. 
Thanks for tuning in to my series on how to play great songs.